Your social security number is a nine digit code that is as unique as your fingerprint. And in today's video, I'm gonna help you break these numbers down and tell you exactly what each set of numbers mean. And be sure to stick around to the end and I'll also cover what the plans are for when the inevitable happens, when all possible combinations of a nine digit number have been exhausted. But real quick, before we get to all of that, if you're new here, and you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell, because I strongly believe that the next few years are gonna hold more changes for Social Security than the program has seen since it was first created. And as those changes start to work through the system, I'll be right here helping you break them down so you can get every dime in benefits that you deserve. So if you've ever applied for a job, a loan, or a credit card, you've probably been asked for your Social Security number. In many ways, your social security number is as much a part of you as is your date of birth. It follows you from birth to death and it serves as a key to your sensitive information. You probably even know the number by heart, most of us do at least, but have you ever stopped to wonder what your social security numbers mean? Well, the digits in your number have a unique configuration. The meaning of these numbers isn't exactly a secret, but it's not very well known either. Your nine digit social security number is divided into three parts. The area number is the first three set of digits. The group number is the second set of two digits. And the serial number is the third set of four digits. Now I wanna break these down individually. The area number is the first three digits of your social security number. In the first several decades of the social security program, the area number indicated the location of the social security office that assigned the number. But in 1973, the administration's Baltimore office became responsible for supplying all social security numbers. And then the area number was based on the applicant's zip code. Then in 2011, the system changed again. And now the first three numbers are assigned randomly and they're not tied to any specific geographic location. And then we have the group number. This is the set of numbers in the middle of your social security number. Your group number can range from one to 99. And this is a little neat bit of history here. It'll show you just how much things have changed if you need any reminder. In the early days, the group number was used to identify records because the administration issued social security numbers before the era of computers, well before the era of computers. Program administrators used the middle two numbers to organize the records into subgroups. And each group pointed to a specific area of filing cabinets, making the records easier to manage. And now that filing cabinets are mostly a relic from the past, the group number is also a random number and no longer has any real significance. And the last piece of the social security number puzzle is the serial number. The serial number is the last four digits. They can range all the way from one through 9,999. And the purpose of this set of numbers has always been the same. It's simply to help ensure your number is unique. So now that you know what your social security numbers mean, what does your number say about you? Well, not much, fortunately. Your area number may indicate the state from which your social security number was issued or maybe the zip code you used to apply if they issued your number before 2011. But since the change to a randomized system in 2011, there's no social security number decoder or way to decipher what numbers mean. Even though there are still some advertised online, they're mostly a complete waste of time. All numbers issued after 2011 are 100% random. So this raises the question, are social security numbers ever reused? And if they aren't, won't the social security system eventually run out of numbers? Well, social security numbers are not reused even after a person dies and that's your number forever. But eventually, the administration will run out of unique nine digit numbers. There's about a billion possible combinations of nine numbers. And so far, they've issued over 453 million individual social security numbers and they're generating about five and a half million new numbers per year. So at that rate, we're still decades away from having to move to a 10 digit system to keep them unique. If you want to understand more about your social security, you should definitely get your free copy of my cheat sheet. This is where I've taken the most important rules and numbers from the social security website and I've condensed it down to just one page. There's a uh, link down in the description where you can get yours. But if you're ready to move beyond 
my one cheater, and you want a more thorough explanation of the basics, you should check out my course. Whether you're a soon-to-be retiree who wants to make sure they receive all the benefits that they've earned or a detail-oriented planner who wants to double-check their knowledge about how Social Security works or maybe you're a divorced spouse who wants to know what benefits you can expect, this course will give you the answers you've been looking for and the support you need on your journey to an awesome retirement. There's a link in the description where you can read more and get instant access. Thank you so much for watching.